Hello, everybody. Welcome to the very first episode of Follow Your Passion, the podcast about entrepreneurs that follow their passion and now making a full-time living out of it. I'm the host, Erwin Wils. I'm a mindset business strategist and the founder of Millionaire Life Strategy. And in this series, I'm interviewing my clients and other entrepreneurs, how they found their passion, uh, turned it into a business are, and are making a full-time living out of it. I already had some interviews with uh, guests that will be uh, attending this podcast that I will interview. And it's very energizing. You know, they're all about their own passion. They love talking about it. And you can feel the energy in their voice. So I'm hoping it will energize and inspire you as well to follow your passion. And that's what the series is all about. If you would like to know more about me, let me introduce myself a little bit. My entrepreneurial journey started seven years ago. Until that time, I was working in the corporate world and I was always finding ways how to add value to the business. I never wanted people to say how good I was. I wanted my work to speak for itself. And it was all about process optimization. But back in 2014, I thought to myself, you know, you can optimize a process and have all the graphs and figures to accommodate and validate this optimization. But if the people that are using the process don't change, the process itself won't change. So how do I get those people to change as well? I thought about doing an NLP training, but I only knew that it was short for neuro-linguistic programming and that it had to do with behavioral change. That was like all the information I had. So I did some little research on the internet, found an ebook that stated that NLP was some sort of hypnosis. And that intrigued me a lot because I'm a very responsible person. I feel responsible for my own actions. And that's one of the reasons I will never do drugs. I, will, I don't drink any alcohol because I want to be in control of my own actions. You know, waking up in the morning, not knowing what I did the evening before, that picture is unimaginable in my mind. And had the same position about hypnosis, that it wouldn't be in control. Yet, here it stated that NLP was just some sort of hypnosis. And I couldn't make that match in my mind. So did some research on uh, hypnosis, hypnotherapy, read an ebook that blew away all presuppositions I had about hypnosis. And that intrigues me even more because I want to know the other side of the story. If something challenges my, my values and my beliefs. So I followed the webinar. During the webinar, they were talking about regression. And I thought that this regression stuff that could help my boys. And my wife and I decided to do the training. If only we could help our boys with it. Well, after the first training weekend, I was sold. This was my way of adding value to the world. You know, my works need a challenge. And since every person is unique, every new client is a new challenge for me. I'm still optimizing processes, but very complex ones. And most of all, I'm helping people in a coaching way. Because I'm not telling them what to do. The information and the changes come from within. And that's what I love. So I already knew I wanted to create a business out of it. And I actually did. I started my own business together with my wife in 2015. And in 2017, I was fully self-employed. That same year, 2017, I changed my focus towards coaching. Because I saw a lot of clients that were weren't using the full potential they were much more capable than they gave themselves credit for yet they didn't come to me to activate this potential they just came to me to get rid of a problem or an issue they had so i changed my focus towards coaching and that's what i've been doing ever since sometimes people ask me you know how many hours a week do you work and i honestly have to say i don't know because what's work you know, I'm doing helping clients. I'm doing social media. I'm writing interviews. I'm doing the podcast like this, but it's energizing me. I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, this is my way of adding value, of making an impact. And I love doing that. After each client session, I feel energized. I want to do the next one. So do I work 40, 60, 80 hours a week? Possibly, but I don't consider it to be work you know i love what i do and i'm fortunate enough that clients pay me for that 
And that's what the series is all about. You know, it's not about money. It's not about becoming a millionaire. There's this great saying that some people are so poor, all they have is money. And it's all about living your passion, you know, living your dream, following your passion and creating a life for yourself and your spouse or family, whatever you want. And be totally happy with it. And that's what this series is all about. Not about becoming a millionaire, whatever, but you can have a millionaire life when you're healthy, when you have great friends, a great environment, and you love what you're doing. So I hope this will give you a little uh, more background on myself. And I guess this is the last time I will tell something about myself because it's all about my guests. You know, it's their story. I want them to inspire you to follow your passion as well. And I already know it will be all, you could almost say it will be all over the place. You know, I've got people that are loving marketing. I've got people that are loving uh, yoga. i got people that love to, to climb. Um, I love people that are self-sufficient, you know, and they teach others how to become self-sufficient as well. But they all have one thing in common. They follow their passion. They love what they do. They feel energized with it. And they will bring this energy to the interviews as well. So I'm looking forward to sharing all these wonderful interviews with you to inspire you. And hopefully it will get you into action to follow your passion as well. A great saying that I got from one of my coaches, which is a quote from Napoleon Hill, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. And it has become my personal mantra. You know, dreams are great, but you have to put it into a vision and create a strategy to achieve it. And I believe if you truly believe in your own dream and your vision, things will change and you will achieve this dream life that you've always, uh, always dreamt about. Well, that's it for me. I want to keep it short and simple. And... I hope to welcome you to all those wonderful interviews that are coming.